way to see their bodies. Everything was covering them. I could only see her face and her hand. A head-on collision in Grass Valley shut down Highway 49 for more than three hours today. Two RVs were traveling in opposite directions, and they smashed into each other this afternoon. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrienne Moore. Three people were injured. One of them was airlifted to a local hospital in Carmichael. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live there with the very latest. Macy. Adrian and Sam, CHP is still trying to figure out what caused these two vehicles to collide. People who saw the wreckage say they can't believe the two drivers are still alive. There was no way to see their bodies. Everything was covering them. I could only see her face and her hand. Traffic came to a screeching halt Tuesday afternoon when two RVs collided head on. It sounded like something blew up. It was loud, really loud boom. The city Chastity Haynes ran out of the house and straight down to the highway. Please don't let there be any kids. Please, please don't let there be any dead kids. She quickly started clearing debris, searching for anyone in the rubble. Bonnie was yelling for help. Please help me. John Boyd was just feet away, working at the Golden Chain Motel. The former EMT jumped into action. They were smashed in. Her husband's covered with everything. He kept, please get the stuff away from me. I just tried to keep him calm, say, hey. We can't move anything right now, my friend. Boyd took this photo as soon as Nevada County firefighters arrived. They had to cut the two people out of the RV and they were rushed to a nearby hospital. The other gentleman from the white RV actually went through the windshield and flew out of his RV. At one point, Haynes says the man got up and started walking around, but soon after, he was airlifted to a hospital in Carmichael. Caltrans crews have been cleaning up here for several hours. Take a look. This is one of the RVs that was involved in that collision. Half of it is now gone. Bill Dugan says he's surprised anyone made it out alive. Looking at that accident, I could have gone the other way pretty easily, I think. He and his neighbors say something needs to be done about this dangerous stretch of road. People drive on 49 like they're driving on 80. But as more vacationers head this way in the summer, Boyd says everyone needs to slow down. If you had shown me the accident, I would have said no survivors. It was a miracle, it was a miracle. that they lived. Highway 49 reopened around 5 o'clock, and Hayne says this is not the first time she's seen an accident in her area, but she hopes people use this as a reminder to drive more cautiously on the road. Those pictures are dramatic, Macy. Just incredible that people walked away from it. Thanks so much for that live report.